This week is all about a, a design project, all the civil engineers working groups and have to design a water slide. Um, we were two days out in a Rother Valley doing all the different experiments and surveying and um, building the prototypes and uh, that's followed by different calculations that we have to do in groups and writing report. And it's all about um, making us apply all the knowledge that we've gained throughout the year in a real application. This module is civil engineering skills and the aim here is to give the students an understanding of the kind of skills they're going to need as they become civil engineers in the future. That's everything from hand drawings to computerised CAD drawings, some mathematical computation and then finally looking at the hands-on skills of surveying, giving them an understanding of how to get some data from the field, draw it up onto designs and then hopefully in the end take their designs and implement them in the field themselves. We've been set a structural task and we have to design a cantilever and we've been given certain materials so we have steel beams and cable ties and things and we're trying to form one that works. It needs to hold a kilogram. We had to take a survey of the hill that we we're going to have the water slide down and it needs a lot of accuracy so we have optical scopes which give you a, like a detailed level of the actual elevations we're talking about and yeah it's really fun the kind of the accuracy involved which is not something you'd expect is, is, is really fun when you get it like bang on. For the last section of our project we had to look at how the shape of the slide would affect the water flow and how much water flow we'd need to actually get the slide going. What the University of Sheffield does really well for its students is that in addition to teaching the sort of fundamental science, doing classroom based exercises, it gets them out in the field, it gives them these kind of practical experiences. In my opinion, what I think makes a perfect civil engineer is the motivation that you have. Uh, so you really want to make a difference in a world, in a global or local community. You obviously need some mathematical skills and engineering judgement, but that's what you gain through the degree. And people skills, because it's not only work on a computer, but you have to interact with people, with clients, with the communities. So it's also very crucial. So overall, this project has been really helpful in teaching us many things about uh, civil engineering in, in a site. Um, from fluids to the geotechnics to the surveying, it really helped us uh, gain much needed experience to help us become better civil engineers in the future.